What I didn't like was, for example, in the summertime, there was not a public place where black people could swim. But if you went downtown, you would hear these happy voices and hear water splashing as your approach would be at the YMCA in downtown Laura, Mississippi. Nice swimming pool. The people there just seemed to be having the time of their life, but it was segregated. Black people couldn't go there. Black people were not allowed to go to the public library. We could not go to, if we went to uh, the Caucasian doctors, you'd have to go around through a separate entrance. You couldn't go in through the front entrance. I was uh, living in Laurel, Mississippi, a youngster. My mother was a custodian at one of the junior high schools, which was an all-white school. And I, being an adventurous, wanting to go out and see what the world offered, I wanted to go to the place where she worked and bring lunch to her. And she was afraid to have me do that, but I assured her that I could do that. I would take the public transportation and arrive at her school, just give me the address and some landmarks and that I would be fine with that. So she did. And I went up to the, the bus stop to get on the bus and being young, not realizing when the bus stopped, I was so anxious to tell the bus driver, please let me all when you get to stop such and such. And there were other people there, Caucasian people mainly. And I stepped in front of them to give this information to the bus driver. And his response to me was, I will, but next time you let the Caucasian people get on the bus first. Well, initially, upon my arrival in California, I just thought everything would be different. It would be totally opposite of what my experiences had been in the South. And I didn't find that to be true. The longer I lived here, the more I could see that there were some of the same things present in California as there were in Mississippi. Maybe not as open, but they were there. My job for 32 years was an elementary school teacher for the Santa Rosa Schools District. I chose it because I was getting, I had um, my family developing. Um, I finished high school, but I did not go to college. And so I decided uh, the opportunity presented itself for me to go to college. So I began at College of Marin, and after two years there getting an Associates of Arts degree in um, general education and one in social studies, I transferred to Dominican University there in San Rafael, got a BA in my teaching credential. Came up to Santa Rosa, the Santa Rosa City Schools thought I had something to offer the children who attended in that district, and so I was employed as an elementary school teacher. I love giving uh, directions to people that are going to propel them to go on and do bigger and better things. Stay in school, learn a lot. Be as friendly as you can to your fellow students and people outside of your neighborhoods because this world has a lot of good people in it. Do all you can to make it better. If there's a situation that you don't like, do what you can to correct it. Okay. Be tolerant. Remember, treat others as you wish to be treated. Hi, I'm Alexandra Lefford. I'm Miguel Gilpin Moreno. I'm Nicholas Fendler. I'm Alex Bartlemay. I'm Maxine DeMars. And I'm Arm Huntsball. <laughs>